Hello there, Erunar here and today we will review Aetria. Aetria is led by Helenos, a hero with not so good combat stats, strong weapon but most importantly abilities to rout enemy units, which makes him very good against infantry and other units. Let's review the roster. As Trojan faction, they start with Militia Warband, a quite good, okay, frontline with weak stats. Uh, then we got Trojan Warriors, which are much better option for your early game, because they are uh, solid chargers. Aetria brings the flanking option, which is Sanctuary Guards. Uh, with decent offensive stats uh, and charge, you have to utilize flanking attack improved. Otherwise, if you want to charge frontally, you shall use Trojan Riders, which are direct upgrade of Trojan Warriors. Let me show you how much they are upgraded. Their charge is much better and speed will make them very valuable on the battlefield. Then on the early game frontline we got uh, Swordsman, standard frontline unit, quite okay, nothing against it. Uh, alternatively we can choose Trojan Seafarers as a frontline. Uh, they don't have shields but they, could, they are able to hold the ground or charge into the battle and flanking defense makes them hold even longer. In the mid game, as Trojans, we got access to shielded spear warriors. They are not so good as frontline, but if you put uh, shields on the back, uh, they are quite good at charging and uh, protecting their backs from your missiles. For the flanker, on the mid game we got Temple Guards, which are solid chargers with flanking attack improved, quite strong weapon for a chargers. And this despite being medium, they are they have decent speed. For the front line, as you can see Aetria is having club front front line is instead of spear front line. So you are going to have a frontline with solid weapon, good defense and attack, and flanking defense. So this this is a reliable frontline, and enemies will not counter this unit because it's a club unit. For a devastating charge unit, we got Trojan Chargers with amazing 41 charge and uh, solid weapon. You are able to support your frontline with frontal charge, with, which reduces enemy defense uh, from the front. On the late game, we got heavy upgrade of chargers with even more attack defense and more charge. Then we got heavy flankers chargers, which are the most unique. Uh, apart from their very strong weapon and very high melee attack, they are unbreakable on, of, on top of that. So these are your chargers that will fight to the very end. And for front, front line, uh, we got companions of Helenos with very high defense, decent melee attack, very strong weapon and these will hold for very long thanks to their big morale and discipline so they are immune to fear and terror. So this is very solid frontline. For the missiles, Estrosians we could access to light skirmishers which are slightly weaker version than Echean light uh, skirmishers. Uh, we got access to slingers which are again slightly worse option than Echean slings. And Aetria brings their own slinger version with much more ammunition, 
so you are able to dish more damage if you are able to do it safely and to compensate uh, the cost we also have the battlefield healing which makes them uh, extremely good at prolonged skirmishers and longer battles. In mi mid game we could access to Tassian armored slingers with very nice range. Again we are going to use battlefield healing for skirmishing and they are able to hold quite well. And late game upgrade we got heavy slings, renowned slings of Tassos. Uh, they are amazing, they have very good range. Again, you are going to use battlefield healing, and if you combine it with very strong shield, they will be able to skirmish enemy missiles very efficiently. Uh, for the chariots, Astrosians, we got access to Anatolian chariots, very good. Um, medium chariot and heavy trojan chariots are one of the best standard heavy chariots. Uh, the archer chariot is uh, not recommended, It's it has terrible missile damage output even though it has nice numbers here, 12 models is not enough to compensate this. So that's the roster and I will show you this roster in the replay, very simple battle where we have some mid-tier front line, uh, mid-tier army against enemy uh, tier 3 settlement garrison. So it, in this scenario we are going to be attacked but we are not gonna sit here, we will take the forest and move our Tassian Slingers to start skirmishing so later on we can use their battlefield healing to heal up and to trade damage well. The forest gives extra 40% missile block against enemy projectiles. We also want to move our frontline in front of them and as you can see we have Tosian Chargers on this side and my our hero is the Light Spear alternative. So they are going to be flanking and we got some Trojan Riders as a reserve. With their Furious Charge they will be able to support our front line with extra damage. Our hero should be able to deal with enemy spearmen, so we are confident in uh, charging in. And then pop up some ability. And here, as you can see, we got the front line. And we immediately me uh, used our chargers to support them to bring down enemy defense right from the start. And, and correctly you can see, we are cycle charging back and forth to do even more damage to keep applying Furious Charge. Meanwhile our slings are doing well, uh, they are able to hold and take a lot of missile damage. And then we continue with the cycle charging here and there. And since our hero is quite strong against Spearman, we are able to break through and continue with remaining units. So, yes, our hero is also great flanker, which immediately routed shielded spearmen. So we are able to go and group against enemy armored spearmen, who got their defense dropped down to 28 out of 50-60. Our slings are doing still well. They are already softening Akiang's slings very quickly. Our riders are doing a quick work against the slings. So since we, we broke through this line we are able to get missiles. 
and on this side we will very quickly overwhelm them and the strongest enemy armored spearman is about to route as well and that's how you can easily win with Aetria in your battles. That is all, see you later.